In this video, we will cover the concepts of accrued interest, clean price, and dirty price of a bond. We will pay special attention to a bond's quoted price and use of appropriate day count convention for purposes of calculating accrued interest. Let's say today's date is January 11th of 2012 and you're looking to invest in a U.S. Treasury bond. You pick up a paper and see the following quotation. The issuer of this bond is U.S. Treasury. The par value or the face value of the bond is $1,000. The coupon rate of this bond is 5, 1 over 8, and we will just explain how to use this coupon rate to calculate annual interest. The issue date of this bond is December 15th of 2010, and the bond matures on December 15th of 2020. The current quoted price of this bond is 101.24, and we will just explain how to turn this into dollars. And finally, the yield to maturity of this bond is 4.73%. First of all, note that coupon rate of 5, 1 over 8 means that annual interest equals 5, 1 over 8 percent of a thousand dollars which is the par value of the bond which equals 51.25 dollars treasury bonds are quoted in increments of 1 over 30 seconds of par and also as percentage of their par value so 101 24 means 101 24 divided by 32. So the price of the bond equals 101 24 divided by 32 percent of the par value of a thousand dollars. And this equals 1017.5 dollars. This quoted price is also called clean price of a bond. Question is, can you buy this bond by paying the clean price of $1017.5? The answer is no, because this price has not been adjusted for the amount of accrued interest since last coupon was paid out. So if we buy the bond today, trade date equals January 11th of 2012. Trades on treasury bonds settle the next business day. So the settlement date equals January 12th of 2012. Since the bond was issued on December 15th of 2010 and Treasury bonds pay coupons semi-annually, the last interest payment date was December 15th of 2011. Since last interest payment was on December 15th, 2011, let's count the number of days since December 16th, 2011 up to but excluding the settlement date of January 12th of 2012. So for the month of December from 16th to 31st, we have 16 days. And for the month of January, from 1st to 11th, we have 11 days. So total number of days since last coupon was paid out equals 16 days of December plus 11 days of January, which equals 27 days. So the buyer of the bond has to compensate the seller for the interest that has accrued over these 27 days. 
the single most important factor in calculating accrued interest is the day count convention. Day count convention varies by bond type. For treasury bonds, day count convention is actual over 365. This means that interest accrues based on actual days elapsed since last coupon and 365 day year. Following this day count convention, the accrued interest in our example equals actual number of days elapsed since last coupon was paid, which is 27, divided by 365 times the annual interest payment of 51.2 five dollars and this equals three point seven nine dollars now we can calculate the price that you have to pay to buy this bond this is called the dirty price of the bond and it equals clean price plus the amount of interest that has accrued since the last coupon was paid. And in our example, it equals clean price of $1017.5 plus accrued interest of $3.79. And this equals $1021.29. So to buy the bond from its seller, the buyer has to pay $1021.29. Please note that when calculating dirty price of any bond, whether government or corporate, we have to be careful in choosing the right day count convention and pay particular attention to the way bond price is quoted. So we now know how to calculate accrued interest and we can simply add it to clean price of the bond to calculate the dirty price. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.